The tornadoes ripped through areas in Siloam Springs and in Rogers a year ago. Five News reporter Bailey Devane shows us how things are looking today. One home in Rogers that was destroyed after an uprooted tree fell on top of the roof is still being rebuilt a year later. Neighbors say the homeowners were forced to move. A neighbor to this home says she lost parts of her roof, her front porch awning, and a tree nearly collapsed on her house as well. And it's taken the full year to make repairs. Quite a while to get different things done. I had to have some trees cut up. And then in the very back, I had to have them come up and, and trim some of them. I lost, I lost a big old uh, pine tree back there. There's still some mulch left from city cleanup efforts near the trailhead by Rogers High School. The mayor says the supply will stay there until it's used up. The sites were chosen strategically because of geographic reasons and, of course, because they're owned by uh, the city. Officially, the city requested over $600,000 in relief aid from FEMA, which the mayor says they were denied, but he says the real cost could be millions. Our claims that we submitted to FEMA were uh, about $660,000. So that doesn't include what might have been included for Rogers Water Utilities, for Carroll Electric, for Swepco. Um, so it's, you know, untold millions of dollars that it cost ultimately. A year later, we still have debris and tree limbs scattered all over this property. Workers who are here say they're unsure how long it'll be until this house is safe to live in again. In Rogers, covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. All right, Bailey, thanks. There were no deaths or serious injuries as a result of those two tornadoes.